Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on what time zone you're in or what time you watch this video. Today we're back with more Aurora. This time it's Running with the Wolves, uh, which just sounds like it's going to be an awesome crack and it's going to get us howling. So without further ado, love you all. Let's jump right in, shall we? Let's go. Well, if this is an uh, apocalyptic climate change influenced future, I don't know what is. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Already so much imagery. Go roll the boat to safer grounds, but don't you know we're stronger now. My heart still beats. Love this beat. And my skin still feels. My lungs still breathe. My mind still feels. Wow. Probably running out of time. All the echoes in my mind cry. This blood on your lies. The skies up and wide. Oh my god, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy. We I love that we start off with like just like the the bass beat, but it almost sounds like marching like like marching to the beat of a drum. Right? And it's not till we get to the chorus where she says I'm running with the wolves tonight where we get this like surge of like like sound and it almost is like her soul now fills the song whereas before she was forced to march to the beat of the drum and what's cool about that is the imagery kind of follows exactly that because look at the like it almost looks like i thought it was ivs at first but the more that i look at it it's it's so many things it is metallic ivs which really speaks towards the way that society has changed to kind of value technology which is good in some ways but also the poisonous technologies that have created so much disasters amidst climate right and when you look at those that's what's actually lodged into all these spaces where you'd expect like ivs which are supposed to be keeping her alive but they haven't been clearly because she's running away from this but on top of that they also look like strings attached to a puppet which is like how she's felt being trapped probably coming from that city because she was walking kind of away from it so probably coming from that city being trapped in that ecosphere and it's literally her chained to that place and she's trying to break free of it and it is when she surges with that running with the wolves where we get all of that music swelling in too and she feels more alive even in the way that she's animated like moving than she's been the whole video and that's such a great way to show that it's like she's breaking free of the kind of what we have set expectations for in society and she's breaking free of those knowing that there are lies because she said even she says there's blood on your lies right like all those things that you say like oh fossil fuel doesn't cause harm you know there's no there's no climate change all those things like obviously there's blood on those because it's creating this disaster to the rest of the world and that in it of itself is kind of accentuated by looking at where the city is. Let me just pull back to look at that real quick because that was really cool. I like that shot of the city uh, compared to the ground. Like, this is what is happening to the world around us in the hopes that we build a city or like um, a society in which we can thrive, but everything else dies as a result. And that's not sustainable. That's the problem with that is it's not sustainable. And the issue is the longer that we continue down that road the more of an issue that becomes until we end up with something very much like this landscape where the city is the only thing i would say thriving but look at how much pollution there is there right like all the steam it looks like a giant factory you even see the advertisements too which is actually really cool uh, a great touch to that and then everything else is this like dreary wasteland because everything is gone right we're, we're literally dr sucking away the life from the land around us as this is happening and that's what she says like all of these things, there's blood on your lies. And I really like the idea of the echoes in my mind cry. 
And it's like these echoes of the past of like when there was harmony with like, you know, nature and environment and all those echoes are crying out in her mind and almost like the wolves are also crying in her mind. And when she says wolves, I love that she kind of howls it like, like the way she does like wolves. And that's really cool because that that's a great way. Like she's joining the wolves. And when you think about it, wolves are meant to be like the ones that are menacing. But in this case, she just wants to run free and wild like the wolves, as opposed to feeling trapped like the sheep who are stuck in that city. And that's such a great metaphor you know what i mean it's like in this case the wolf is actually not the one that's causing the harm it's the sheep who don't listen that are causing the harm and so instead she's running with the wolves tonight free away from all this or like you know like she's walking away from that city holy smokes we just started there's so much happening this is so good i don't even know where i stopped i gotta go back I like it's his most replay. It's like the whole thing because it's just awesome. I'm gonna start here. I don't know if this is where we start. Oh, oh this is, no, it's a little bit back. I'll go forward. Oh, and this? She literally feels trapped. She's held back. Oh. Oh, no. My oh, I love that. And my mouth can speak. My spirit talks. I know my soul believes. But we're running out of time. Uh, all the echoes in my mind cry. There's blood on your lies. The skies up and wide. God. Okay, hang on, hang on. I, this is going to be a crazy breakdown, but I love something that was just seen here. When we get a view of the people coming from the city, probably people hunting her, honestly speaking, the windshield is clouded. It's, it's murky. It's muddy. And it's... A metaphor because it's like the more that you partake in what's happening there the less your vision becomes clear I mean, whereas she has nothing obscuring her vision and that's such a great metaphor there but i really like something she says there is like she is everything right like she she is the world her, her, she is everything and that's what life is life is like everything is intertwined right like even if you think of like a food ecosystem or a web everything falls into one another if there's too many predators all the prey die and the predators die too and the same thing applies to us. We are kind of that predator right now. And and we've become like that apex where now we are siphoning so much away from the world that everything else falls apart as a result. And if we don't change it, that becomes a problem because we end up with something kind of like this, which is such a cool way to do that. And I really, really, really like that metaphor. And then like on top of that, I didn't even get into the, the pre-chorus here, but like she says like the sky is open wide. It's like finally she's getting an idea of what this place is supposed to be like. Right. And, and there's nowhere for us to hide. The hunter's moon is, is shining and she's the hunter. Now she's trying to hunt down these kind of ideologies that lead to the breakdown of everything else in the, it, with the hopes that it, it helps us kind of rise. But the problem is like, I talked about the food chain earlier or the food web earlier. If one predator out hunts everything else, which is kind of what's happening and then draws away all the resources, eventually there's nothing left of anybody. And then the hunter dies too. The predator dies too. And so we as a as a species, if we are over hunting, we're we're over polluting, we're you know, just all these things that are non-sustainable in the future, that means we die too. And that's what she's trying to kind of echo here. And then even when she says like talks about those echoes, the words are so important. She says time running out of time and time echoes, crying, crying echoes, mine, mine. It's so cool, like the choice of the words that echo. And it's because she's representing the universe. She's representing like the, the, the world, right? Cause she says, I am everything. And yet that also it, like it all falls into place because yeah, we are all made up of atoms. We're all kind of down to the bone. We're all like every species is made up of atoms and all those atoms are common or like 
they, they're universal, but pretty much. And just how they're arranged is different. And so if you think you're different from all the other animals and that those animals don't matter, or you think you're different from the trees and those trees don't matter because you have a consciousness that we are more capable of understanding. Well, that's not entirely true because there is similarities between us and those things in this, in the scope of we're all made up of the same thing. Eventually, if they die, we die too. And that's a big problem. And I love that. That's such a, a well-used idea here. That's so cool. Okay, now I got, and I, I really think they're hunting her because she's breaking free. She's becoming the wolf. She's she's running wild, and they don't want that. Damn, this is cool. This is like a movie. I love the chorus, man. And she ends up in kind of this world that is so lush and so beautiful. That's such a great way to end that. And and I have to go back to look at the lyrics here, which says, A gift, a curse, they track and hurt. So, so uh, say, can you dream in nightmare scenes? A million voices, silent dreams, where hope is left so incomplete. Where it's like, there's so many voices. And you might think of the voices as people, but it's more than that. Voices, Those voices go beyond people just people it goes towards like this the other animals the other species that exist on this planet everything even the inorganic things right and it's like all of those have this one kind of dream of living and yet they're being stripped away as a result of all the changes that kind of humanity has made in the past and don't get me wrong some of those changes are genuinely for the better right there are things that we have done that have improved the world but when you overtake, when you take too much, that's where the problem arises. And that's what this is really about. It's not about technology is evil. That's not the thing. It's that it, dispassionate progression is evil. And that's the problem. And that's really what she's trying to highlight here. And it's like we literally have a gift and a curse. The gift of of technology, the gift of being able to further progress our species. But it's also a curse because in that gift... We are losing the rest of the world as a result. And that is such a beautiful way to kind of put that. This whole thing was amazing. I love that she literally bit off the the uh, the metal IV things in her arm, the puppet strings on her arm. She literally bit them off. And what's cool is when she screamed, right, there was no audio of that scream because the people in the, in the vehicle don't hear her. And at the point where she's broken free, the person in the vehicle screams, but she doesn't hear that scream because that scream is is one that doesn't matter. It's like you are focused on what the city needs, and that city is the only thing that matters to you, but that's not the only thing that matters to this planet. So if that's what you're screaming about, it's not worth it. And I love that. And whereas her scream, when it's drowned out, it's like you feel the sorrow of her scream. The other person in the vehicle, when they scream, it felt aggressive. Hers felt painful. And that really speaks to like kind of the way that the planet kind of it manifests in this idea of the song where it's the world loses and and that pain and suffering of everything else on the planet is felt. And and that scream is feels drowned out by what's happening over there in the city. Wow, this was an amazing, amazing track. And honestly, I love the chorus. Like I'm running with the wolves is so good. And and I love that she howls actually in the last chorus there. And, and she finally breaks free from the, the chains that were holding her back. Amazing. Aurora is, is awesome. Holy smokes. Um, wow. I hope that you enjoyed it too. 
I hope that your week has been in your day, your month has been in your week, and your year has been in your month. Love you all. And I'll see you on the next one.